Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. In the game tonight, we have an OAA white matchup between Royal Oak and Lake Orion. Royal Oak comes into this match sitting at 5-1 and one on the season, taking down Novi 4 to nothing and Gross Point South 7-0 in the two games leading up to this matchup. The Dragons are sitting at 3-0-1 on the season, allowing just two goals, but also only scoring four goals total in their first three games. The scoring floodgates open, though, in their victory at North Farmington on September 3rd, taking the win 3-1. Kickoff is just a moment away. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. About to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. I'm your announcer Ian Locke bringing you this game of the week Royal Oak versus Lake Orion varsity soccer matchup. Beautiful night for soccer out here. Temperatures are a bit toasty but comfortable. You can see the sun setting behind us here as the game's about ready to kick off. As mentioned in the open, Dragons come in sitting undefeated currently. And three wins and a tie. And the tie came uh, against Utica he Eisenhower back on August 20th. One-to-one uh, -one affair at home. So the Dragons saw league action right away against Stony Creek. Dragons are in the green. Royal Oak is in the white jerseys. Near side drop off into the box by Royal Oak. I want to get, say thank you to their ath the athletic director over there. Um, let's see if I have uh, Daniel Russell. Appreciate him uh, firing off uh, soccer rosters for the varsity team tonight. Always like to give uh, credit to the teams playing and like to have the rosters in hand. Dragons on the nice turnover and the feet up the middle and just, just a bit long. And the Dragons looking to cause some uh, trouble early. Number 12, Santiago uh, Loeza, the junior on that uh, terrific run up the middle. Ball's out of play, throw in coming for Lake Orion. Oop, gotta flip it over. Number 12 is, <laughs> sorry, William Kapler had the JV roster. Like, that doesn't look like William. Dragons on the throw in. Let's start this over. Dragons defense and the Royal Oak defense match up nicely tonight. Should be a well balanced uh, game. These two teams match up so nicely together. Um, the out offensive output by Royal Oak is, um, is a bit more than, let's say, the Lake Orion. Like we said, they've only scored what five six seven nine goals but five of those came against north farmington on the road who's struggling in this uh, 2024 season so far good good goalkeeping by lake orion also uh part of the part of the metric here we have brendan zale who sports the jersey number one in santiago vargas who uh, is the zero jersey in between the pipes for Lake Orion. And what do we have? Throw in? Looks like a throw in for Lake Orion again. Nice crowd on hand here at Dragon Stadium for this matchup. The uh, Royal Oak uh, faithful travel well. Farmer with a throw in, nicely done. Battle in the box, shot on frame, gathered in by the Royal Oak goalkeeper. I think that's uh, Jackson Bofferding, the junior. Nice gather in, he sends it down range. Mm -hmm. 
Battle for it at midfield, trying to find something. Nice pursuit by the Dragon defense to run that one down. That is number 25, Joey Gayton. The junior defender, nice job to shut that uh, rush down by Royal Oak. First time seeing the varsity team in action. Uh, we tried to cover their match against uh, Royal Oak, or at least I did, uh, a week earlier. It was rained out. That big storm that rolled through Oakland County and the power outages for multiple days. So this is the rescheduled um, match for these two teams. And weather is much nicer today than a week ago. So the JV in action against Dakota, they also earned, or yeah, Dakota High School, they earned a 1-1 uh, draw in that game as well. Nice steal by the Raven defense. Knocked that one out. Let's call attention to number 12. That's Fresh. Will it Bill Fresh or William Fresh? Dragons defense doing a nice job of gathering that in to send that one down. Attacking the middle again. Chased down by 17. Belina Loza, the senior midfielder. Called his name a ton over the years. Staple on varsity. Leaders on this team. Good footwork by uh, Nicholas Lasso de la Vega Sosa. Senior midfielder sporting the jersey number 20. Nice feed in by number eight for the Dragons. Austin Negri. Trying to drop that into the drop it in the box, but played out nicely by the Ravens. Dragons still in possession. Uh, Royal Oak content on sitting back on defense and just packing the ball. Packing in deep. Knocked out of play, throw in coming for the green and white. One TV will be out at the several soccer matches throughout the season. Trying to get as many in while the weather is nice as we can, because you know in the fall here in Michigan can dirt quick, turn quickly on us. And even if it's hot, we're out here. We just don't want the snowflakes and the cold stuff flying in the sky when we're out here. A corner kick earned by Lake Orion, first of the game. Let's see what they can do with it. Set pieces for Lake Orion have always been a specialty. They do a nice job coming near side post and headed out by number 12, Fresh. Trying to flip the field quickly are the Ravens. Near side is open, decide not to switch field, but continue up that far left side. Dribbled up by Tivon uh, McHale, dropped in near side, and that turf, uh, the speed of the turf just knocks that one out of play. Run down by Austin. Aaron A.J. Austin, number 11 for the Ravens. Throw in coming number six, that's Nick Marlette for Lake Orion. Marlette going to re reset and do it again. Trying to get organized here on offense are the Ravens. Oh, nice steal. Dragons trying to get set up here on defense. Rolling it out size, number six, Mart Marlette. Veteran move by number six. McHale, number 10. Good footwork by number 10, moving around there. Switching the field are the Dragons to find some open space, and they do, up to number 20. That far side moving quickly. They got Kapler in the middle, can't get it to him, but good defense by the Ravens. Dragons had uh, Kapler streaking in the middle again. And uh, what are we looking at? Uh, Vegas Sosa could not get it out. And over to him, but good defense by Royal Oak. Long throw in unchallenged. Thrown into the box, headed up and out of play by number 14, Taylor. Jaron Taylor, 
Another corner kick earned for Lake Orion. Second of the night for the Dragons. Jake Lee, number 10 for Lake Orion, drops it near side, tapped again. Still in play, Dragons uh, offense player drops in the box, no call. Play continues. Gaten, 25, chases that one out, looking to throw it in quickly. Dragons trying to turn on it. Well, I can say foul on Lake Orion on the push behind the play. Austin Negri, the junior, thought he had something going there, but they had a had that whistle. Colin Wicca, number four, the junior defender with the honors on the free kick. Dragons always pressuring the ball. You see the ball, they always throw somebody, a defender, up on the ball, make the, the ball handler make a decision. Nicely done. Nice footwork by 23. Oh, nice play in the box. Still open. Dangerous. Royal Oak trying to chip on and just wide right. Is that 16? Joseph Brody. Nicely done by the senior forward there to get that on frame. Quality scoring chance for Royal Oak. First quality scoring chance of the night. Nice pressure on the defensive side. Odd deflection there, but play continues. Royal Oak, nice ball control here. Regaining control of that ball. It's a handball by Lake Orion. It burnt, but they'll call it. Royal Oak set up in a dangerous position here. William Fresh, number 12, said his name multiple times tonight already with the honors here on the free kick. 29-34 left in the first half of play. Nice high lob in the box, far post, no one home, trying to chip it on the near side, they do, and the Dragons clear it out. Miller, one of the captains on this team, number 13 was in position, but good uh, closeout by the Dragon defense to send that one down range and out of play. Colin Wicca, number four for Royal Luck with a throw in honors. Nice header, but easily played by the Dra Dragon netminder. I believe it's Bargus. Yep, double zero. Chip on long range again. Dragons trying to go over that, uh, lob it in over the back line of that uh, Royal Oak defense. Had a couple runs early, but uh, the Royal Oak uh, defense ha is showing some speed and able to close in on those uh, Dragon ball handlers. Royal Oak at that far side again on the attack. So far, they've been the aggressor of this match. Nice feed inside, number 11. Going to have a chance, saved by Bargus. Got a hand on it, still alive. Oh, my word. Winds up, sends it down range, deflected out, I think. No, it's side white. Nicely done by Bargus. Junior netminder for Lake Orange stood tall to keep this one level at zero. Another quality scoring chance. Who was it? Tivian McHale. Baylor Brahman checks in for Royal Oak. Dragons on their heels defensively, and um, unforced error brings Royal Oak back into the attack. Cullen Wick, number four, throws it in again. See what they can do. Royal Oak is pressuring that Dragon defense and time of possession favors the Ravens. Coach Shemansky has to be pleased with the way uh, the Ravens are playing so far in the early stages of this match against the Dragons on the road. Roy Loke can score in bunches if you let them. Dragon defense again. Just trying to slow him down as the clock rolls towards 27 minutes left in this first half. Kale taps it in, sets it up. Number six goes far post. Oh, what a save. 
Heck of a save by number by Vargas, but number six, Davis Van Every. What a shot. Van Every with a shot so far, best shot of the night. Corner kick coming for Royal Oak. They, the Ravens as a whole, are tuned in tonight. Left foot lob. Oh, what a header. Good save by Vargas. Vargas standing on his head. This game could be 2-0 very easily. Vargas is talking to his defense going, come on, guys, what are you doing? Five quality scoring chances already for Royal Oak. Holy moly. Royal Oak trying to bust this one open. The header, perfect position, but Vargas was there. Good reflexes, knocked out one over a crossbar. Dragons are lucky, two straight beautiful saves by their goaltender. Earning that varsity letter tonight for sure. Free kick coming for Royal Oak. I want to thank you all for tuning into this telecast. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for Orient Neighborhood Television. If you're interested in helping out on these broadcasts or like sports in general and want to reach out to us and say, hey, how can be a crew? Give us a call at 248-393-1060 or visit our webpage at orientontv.org. Learn more, learn more about what we do here at ONTV and check out our programming, uh, video on demand, library, and our live streams. We stream 24-7 at our webpage. We're also on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Just search for the Orion on TV channel. Add it to your channel lineup. So far, Royal Oak is showing signs of, oh, nice feet in the middle. Dragons trying to do a run of their own, still alive. Coming near side, crossing the goal mouth, but headed out of the box. Nicely done by the Ravens defense. Slide tackle, just missed. Nice step over by uh, Van Avery. And a foul on Lake Orion. Free kid coming to slow down that offensive attack. Dragons had a nice, nice run there. Let's make up of this squad here. Good mix of seniors, a lot of seniors and juniors. Hudson Case is the lone sophomore on the varsity squad to start this season. Dragon defense still uh, getting organized, slowing down that Raven offense, but Couple close calls. Jason Wise, head coach for Lake Orion. Full faith in his team. They've proven themselves over the last couple years. Oh, nice, uh, nice defense by 25 again. Joey Gaten slowing down that uh, attack by Royal Oak. A lot of experience on this Dragon squad. Majority of uh, Royal Oak squad made up of seniors as well. And a whole host of juniors with three sophomores listed. Nice drop in the box. But met by Royal Oak, easily uh, deflected out. Dragons pressuring ball carry with two, two defenders. Forcing the throw in here for Royal Oak. Wicca with the honors. Marked up by uh, Rez, Red Zip. Throw in coming again. Twenty-two thirty-one left in this first half of play. I want to thank you for tuning into this telecast. No score yet in this uh, matchup. Dragons are 3-0-1 on the season coming in. And uh, the lone tie is against Utica Eisenhower. And this is a rescheduled match from a week ago with Royal Oak. Nice low feed screamer and just the near side post out of play. Should be a goal kick coming for Lake Warrior. So yeah, this uh, OA White matchup, Dragons are sitting 
Second sub by Royal Oak, 22 coming in. Lucas Schroeder, the sophomore midfielder, checks in. Dragons have not subbed yet. Looks like the starting near foul. Still alive, Royal Oak, nicely done. They're finding their open man, that is for sure. Good passing, nice screaming shot on net. Saved by Lake Orion. Six quality scoring chance of the night for Royal Oak. One corner kick earned, Dragons have two corner kicks and no quality scoring chances as of yet. Dragons sit three, or excuse me, two and O oh in the OAA White Division so far. Royal Oak is in the white division with Birmingham Groves, West Bloomfield, Stony Creek, Avondale, and Bloomfield Hills. Again, Royal Oak just the time of possession is huge. And Tavon McHale nicely done, number 10 in the middle. Royal Oak, you can tell these guys have played together for a long time, they are, they know where their teammates are, they're finding them and making quick decisions. Good passing, and not only the passing, but it's accurate passing. Uh, nothing too short, they're not leading their uh, teammates, they're not uh, passing behind them to give up, um, you know, open breaks. Very disciplined squad here is Royal Oak. And a foul on Lake Orion. Another free kick coming here for Royal Oak. A lot of fouls on Lake Orion in the early stages. Let's go, Davis. <laughs> Getting them lined up. Van Every with the free kick. Nice long kick into the box. Header once again out of play. Good position on that free kick. You can see the range that uh, the Dragons have to be wary <laughs> Those can be dangerous, especially when they drop them in the box. Good accuracy. Dragons making some changes here at 19:28. Four changes for Lake Orion. One for Royal Oak. Oh, hit him on the elbow. Play continue. Yeah, they're going to call that. Little handball action. Uh, free kick coming for Lake Orion. Working up that far side there, the Dragons. Sun setting here. Nice, uh, nice play up that far side. Involved in the offense, trying to kick it in. Still alive. Oh, across the end line. That's Hayton. Heightenen, sorry. Senior forward, number seven, Andrew Heightenen. On that nice run up there, tried to save it, but across that end line, goal kick coming for Royal Oak. Jackson Bofferding, the junior netminder for Royal Oak. Free kick, or goal kick. Dragons are there, see if they can set it up, try to turn on it. Red Zip was there, but loses possession, and Royal Oak's on the move, trying to get on the move. Good support play there by the Ravens. Trying to switch the field, find some open space to move. Dragons are there to knock it down. Long feet up that far side. They're really working that right side, that far side of the field. Good body positioning by Lake Orange. I slow that one down, and a good, good steal by Lake Orange. Try to get something on the offensive side. Dragons on the move. Trying to turn that one in the box, steered away. Dangerous spot for that to be in. Dragons trying to set that one up. Saldana was there, number three. Being a pest out there, good to see. Royal Oak 
Timely headers to get that out of danger zone and uh, get it upfield. Nicely done on that outside right foot pass. And Dragons can't keep it in. Throw in coming for the Ravens. So far, Royal Oak looking very nice tonight. Solid, in control, playing their game. Dragons are reacting. They're not uh, putting their game forward. Two subs each for both teams coming in as action continues here. Coming near side number three, Saldana. Pushing and shoving, no whistle, just out of play, throw in coming. Saldana with the honors, looking behind him for the defender. There he is, number six. Marlette with the throw in, Saldana is available, going down the line. Dangerous cleats up, no whistle, play continues in the box. Dragons with something there, trying to get something on, hits the defender in the back. Right side foot, score! Oh, they're gonna say offsides. <laughs> Offsides, Toffolo thought he had one. And at 15.45, uh, the clock stopped, but that's not a goal. That is offside, they called it. Good quality scoring chance for Lake Orion, their first of the game. Dragons are feeling it there. Toffolo. That back line offensive attack offside by a hair. Looked like a, looked clean, but hey, I'm not the linesman. I got a tough angle and a microphone. What do I know? 15.20 to go in this first half. Dragons nearly get one, have it called off on a, on an offsides call. Royal Oak nearly gets two at some stellar shots on net and Dragon Netminder had to stop those. He had to play really well to get those things knocked down. Nice near side move by Twan William Fresh. There's the Dragons again, try to keep it in, try to keep it in, rolls. Out of play, number 19, Reds up. Trying to keep that one in. Throw in coming for the Ravens. Encourage all of you to come on down here to Dragon Stadium. Cheer on these student athletes in person, get a hot dog. Try to get a, bev a nice frosty beverage and some goodies. All proceeds from concessions go to the marching band here at Lake Orion. Help support the band program here at Lake Orion, the award-winning band program. Oh, nearly gets through. Saldana putting himself in position. Good squ uh, scoring chance opportunity for Lake Orion, but a nice save by Bofferty. Time continues to roll inside, 14 minutes. Get a little back and forth action here. The Dragons offense has come alive in the last three minutes here after a pretty dominant first third of this half uh, dominated by the Ravens. Matt Tofalo back in the game for Lake Orion. Tofalo is a senior defender. Dragons trying to knock it down, can't get it out. Good play, turn and move. Dragons whirling Dervis out there, number 19. Reds it. 22 in the middle, that's Verlinden. Going outside, looking for something with lucky 13, Case. Trying to right foot it in and tapped out of, still in. Case trying to make a move, but it's cleared out of play. Dragons with a throw in, should be Farmer with the trigger from the side. Dragons have some speed and have some size. And let's see this, nice long throw in, intercepted by number two, Say. Just came in off the bench to make that play. 
Beautiful setting here for soccer at Lake Orion High School. The greenery and the trees in the background with the sun setting. What more could you ask for? Start of this 2024 soccer season here at Dragon Stadium in Owen TV. Ball in the box trying to do something with it and that is across the end line. It will be a goal kick for Royal Oak. Ball keeps bouncing. The guy's uh, trying to get control of that ball. We're seeing a lot of deflections high up uh, above the shoulders of these guys and a lot of headers. And uh, really want them just to knock them down with their chest if they can to play it. But guys are doing the best they can to keep that ball out of the danger area. Oh, danger pass back to the to Bofferding, but he handles it nicely. Dragons are still there on the intercept. Coming near side, no one there, and it's cleared. Dragons trying to move quickly here to get something going as we, nice challenge by Royal Oak, but still back to the Dragon Netminder. Here we go. Crowd on both sides are enjoying this one. Chatter is starting to increase as we see this back and forth affair between these two squads who are evenly matched. Nice uh, shoulder to shoulder fighting out there by the, the duo of the double deuce. Battle 22, that's Schroeder and uh, Verlinden battling. Cleared out by the Dragon defense to midfield and out of play should be a throw in for Royal Oak. Number two, Say with the honors. Pressure put on by number 12, Kapler. And Kapler's there. Nearly steps through. Good heads up play by Kapler. You got to put the pressure on that ball handler. Make them make the decision. And if they make the mistake, be ready. Looking for a foul, Royal Oak with hands up in the air. Ref says play on. And he challenges with the no look heel. Yeah, a little frustrated there. Jen Zarek, number 27 in for Lake Warrion. Royal Oak with a number of substitutions. Royal Oak keeping fresh legs out there this whole half. They've been uh, substituting freely. The Dragons put fresh legs out at the back half of this first half of play for fresh legs. And different strategy. So far, uh, it works for both squads. However, they run their uh, substitution patterns. Chess match with the uh, coaches, that's for sure, to get uh, the needed result. Looking for some goals here at the nine minute mark. Dragons trying to clear that one. Toffolo, number 15, sends it down range. Deflected out, Dragons with the throw in. Number 15 with the honors. Since that went down. Again, high ball out into midfield. Pretty clean game so far. Aggressive, but uh, clean for sure. Dragon uh, throw in. Good pursuit by Kapitsky, number nine, for Lake Orion. Dragons retain possession. Here is 13 Case. We'll throw in from the side. Can either side break this scoring drought here in the first half? The way these two are playing, look like Royal Oak was going to uh, take the early lead. Dragons have settled into their offensive attack now. A little more balanced than they were in the early stages of this game. Nice move inside with a left foot pass across the near side and clear it out. Like that for North 13 Case. Let's try to get it back in. Battle ensues. Seems like there's a lot of white jerseys out there around the ball. Ball is still in play. Dragons trying to turn. They do. 7.30 left in this first half. No score. Nice near side play with some rhythm. Nicely done. 
Saldana, chip inside the box, and oh, just misses, still alive. Didn't you go far post, and he just misses. And Royal Oak looking for a foul, and they get it. Seven minutes left, Dragons putting that pressure on. They had that lob shot into the into the box on the right side. It couldn't get the number of the jersey, just missing that header, but we're talking inches. Just missed, and then the cleanup, across the goal mouth to that far lower 90 and just couldn't finish it. But again, Dragons showing their medal here on offense. Making that uh, Royal Oak defense play, and it got tangled up, what do you got? Incidentals, no call. Both fans for both fan bases asking for a foul. You know, which is it? 21 for Lake Orion. Uh, Jasper Auer tangling up with Royal Oak. Dragons headed back in. Royal Oak sends it down range. I like the play of Tivon McHale. Number 10 for Royal Oak. Patient with the ball, making the right decisions out there, doing a nice job. Senior midfielder trying to turn on it at Saldana. Got somebody on the right. Oh, nice defense. Just really good defense. Ooh, misplayed there. Dragon with a throw in. Opportunity here. See what they can do with it. Toffolo with a throw in. Over his head. He nearly gets by that back line defense. Oh, boy. For Linden, number 22 is there. Just couldn't get a toe on it. Dragons again on the attack. Split the defense, nicely done. Can't get it, just a bit too far. William Kapler trying to run that one down and the speed of the turf is just a bit too much. Matias Belina Loza checks in for Lake Orion. Strategic substitutions happening here for the LO. Dragons keep it in. Let's see what they can do with four. 47 left in this first half of play. So far, both teams are really showing their offensive uh, pressure. Dragons have kept possession nicely during this uh, good, what, seven minute stretch, maybe eight minute stretch here in this first half. Wasn't the case at the start of this matchup here. Little push behind, no call, just let it go. No advantage, throw in for Lake Orient. Fans want a whistle. Out of play on forced air, Dragons. Royal Oak fans. <laughs> Want a goal. Lake Orion fans, want a goal. <laughs> Inside four minutes here. Key four minute stretch here for both squads. A goal let up here in the late stage of this first half could be a huge momentum swing, especially with the, the quality defenses we're seeing here tonight. Royal Oak trying to turn on it. Can't do it. Dragons with the ball, trying to do something with it. Keep both teams just kind of giving it up. Can't have get possession. Here come near side. Saldana trying to find a find a streak. Wrong angle, but nicely done. Oh, nice lob to the far side. Still alive and cleared out by 27. Uh Genzeric. Placement off the bench is number 27. Did a nice job. A space to Rome coming near side. Saldana cut, cutting inside. Finding the open man, just can't turn on it. Two thirty left in this contest, You're close to it. And Royal Oak again, and and oh, collision there. No whistle. 
Royal Oak player still down. I'm surprised no whistle. Um, play continues. Royal Oak's player looks like he got up. No worse for the wear. Rubbing that one off, still over in the corner, doubled over. And you hear some chipping from the uh, Royal Oak fan base. Got to watch out for that. We saw last spring season the women's fans asking for fouls, and they're getting restless. They got to watch out because the referees are not going to put up with this. They'll call it the way they see it. Uh, we saw, like I said, in the spring during one of the girl, a key girls' varsity match. Um, and, uh, uh, mom was asked to leave, was ejected from the stands and from the venue because she was chirping at the referees and it was from the vis visiting squad. So, gotta watch what you say, can impact your team. Oh, here we go. Nicely done by Royal Oak again. I love their, their game on dropping that into the box. Nicely done, just a lot of, a lot of skill directing those lobs into the box and across the uh, end line. It looks like we have a corner kick coming. Second corner kick for Royal Oak of the game. Two for Lake Orion. Here it comes. Danger, danger. Screamer across the uh, turf, handled by Lake Orion. Fancy pass to Saldana. And the Dragons are on the move. That's number 17. Belina Loza, and he's taken down. That's an easy call. Easy call. Should be yellow. It looks like a yellow. It is, and he'll have to go off. That's number 13, Owen Miller, one of the captains here on Royal Oak, and he took the brunt of that one. But that's a good foul. Belina Loza was on a tear, and... Sometimes you gotta take him down, don't want to red. It's not malicious, it's part of the game. And good sportsmanship after that foul. They issue the yellow, it's what they should have done. 15, tough, tough follow here. Oh, just over, Dragons again, close. Double deuce, number 22 in position for Linden. Just a hair off, we've seen that at least three times now. As we have 20 seconds to go and should wrap this one up 0-0 in case something wild happens in the next 15 seconds. Nice, entertaining half of soccer by both squads. I like it. It's setting up the second half to be an exciting one for both of these teams and the fans in attendance and all of us watching at home. And that's it for the first half. Great job by both squads. Quality scoring chances abound. Corner kicks abound. Near misses abound. What do we get in the second half? Stay tuned to find out. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. About to get underway here. Second half, 40 minutes left in this game. Knotted at zero. Back and forth affair. Each team has had quality scoring chances. Just missed them. Corner kicks abound. Good defense, good offense. Clean game. Nicely done. Dragons again coming in at 3-0-1 on the season. Royal Oak is, where's my notes? They're five and one. Good defenses for both squads, and they're on display tonight. Let's see if I can find our preseason top 10 rankings here in the state of Michigan. OAA is well represented in these rankings. Dragons lob that one in. Dragons in the green and white. Royal Oak in the white jerseys. Royal Oak clears that one out. So let's see here, what do we have? In Division One, Northville is the number one team. 
to start this season. But Rochester Adams is the number four team in the lead or in the state. Troy is ranked six. Oxford ranked seven. Clarkston ranked ten, and Troy Athens at fifteen. Quality OAA ranked teams, and they'll cross over every once in a while. Red and white will play each other, and. Uh, Great soccer here in the OAA. Tonight we have the white division, Royal Oak versus Lake Orion. Royal Oak on the attack. Straight off uh, Owen Miller, number 13, the captain of the squad, wearing the uh, armband tonight. He was uh, called for a yellow to, at the end of the first half in a good spot, nice chip on. Still alive, ball's free, ball is free, still alive, score! What a deflection. Who is that, number 12? Nicely done at 38. Chip on, nice. Look at the deflection there. Goalie doesn't grab it, just sits, hangs out there for an eternity. And Kapler capitalizes. Dragons up one, nothing at 38-29. Billy Kapler, nicely done by the senior forward. It was just a odd situation there. Dragons dump it in, but the assist is where it's at. Goalkeeper for uh, Royal Oak, Jackson Bofferding. Thought he was there, had a defender, but they just got tangled up. Ball sat out in the open and um, Dragons uh, sent it to the back of the net. one nothing. Huge goal at the start of this second half of play. After what we saw in the first half, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Dragons take advantage. Their momentum in the later stages of that first half was evident, and it carried over after halftime right now in the second half. Royal Oak is going to need to respond because the Dragons... They score one goal, they can shut down most offenses. And we've seen them do it all season long. It is The season is young, but we've seen it all season long. Let's see, their wins, uh, one nothing against Stony Creek on the road. Tie one one against Utica Heisenhower at home. West Bloomfield, a win, two nothing on the road. Dragons are road warriors. It's inside play. Nice move by the defense and a trip by number seven. Easy call. Andrew Heitenen called on the harm there. Free kick coming for the Ravens. So Dragons on the road. Good road wins for Lake Orion. Again, the big blowout win was against North Farmington on September 3rd, 5-1 but they're not allowing many goals. Like we said, it's only two goals all season they have allowed. And against two OA white opponents. They are 2-0 and o at the top of the league as of this uh, match tonight. Push it from behind, no call. Nice challenge by the green and white, deflected out. Throw in coming for Royal Oak. Lena Loza, put, oh. Gonna call it out on Royal Oak on the challenge there. Throw in by number 23, Farmer. Looks like they uh, Dragons go down in a heap. They get the free kick in a dangerous spot. Number 20 does delivery. Vega Sosa. Leso de la Vega Sosa. Another foul outside. Dragons dumped to the ground, and uh, Royal Oak is complaining. Legs tangled up. See, see it all the time. You don't want to start arguing. Sometimes, just mentioning it, yeah, maybe they'll keep the eyes open, but it looked legit. Dragons up on this one, ready to go. Belina Loza, 17, eyeballing it. Can't see the jersey number of who's going to take the free kick here. Wall set up by Royal Oak. Nice chip on, and he sends that one into orbit. Way too much juice on that one. 
And that's what we've seen from Lori Loke. Their free kicks and the kicks and the, uh, the lobs into the box from distance are very accurate and in very, uh, in very controlled. That one was a little out of control, a little too much mustard on that. Send that one, um, send that one to Pontiac, south to Pontiac. Or you look on the attack. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning in this Dragons uh, telecast for Orion Neighborhood Television Game of the Week. Varsity soccer action here at Lake Orion High School. OAA white division matchup between the Ravens of Royal Oak and your hometown Dragons. This game was scheduled a week prior, um, but due to the big storms that rolled through Oakland County, knocked power out to 400,000 households in southeast Michigan. And, uh, whoa, danger, danger. That ball is deflected high in the box. Still alive. Uh-oh, big bounce. Header out, trying to clean it. That is so dangerous. Thirty-three forty-four left in this contest. Dragons up one nothing. The goal by Kapler at thirty-eight twenty-nine on the deflection out uh, by the Royal Oak netminder Bufferding. Couldn't gather it in and sent home by Kapler. Huge goal. I want to say the first goal we see from whomever. That's. Oh, another high deflector, danger. They have positioning, ball is still alive. Another high header and cleaned up by oh, number 10. He got it. Saw that one coming a mile away, that's Mikhail. Here's the replay, nice feed in, but the header is deflected behind. Netminder's out of position. And number 10 comes in and just chip far post. No chance for Lake Orion. And Royal is on the board at 33.06. We have a game, folks. Nice job by uh, number 10, Tivon McHale. Called his number a number of times. Very in control player in the right positions. Good spacing and he gets, he gets the bounce. And those headers, we see that ball just bouncing high and deflected off the heads, and the headers just aren't accurate. And so uh, led to that unfortunate goal. But hey, Royal Oak earned it. They found the back of the net. It's 1-1. Kale again feeling it. Drops another one in the box, and he had someone streaking. Good vision by number 10. Oh, nice steal there by Lake Warren. And they're on the move. Oh, misplay. And a takedown, that's an easy call. No foul, wow. Coming near side, good transition here. We are back and forth action, end to end. Here we go. Cleaned up by number 25. That's Gaten. Crazy action here after that uh, leveling goal 1-1 one, one here. Crowd is back in this one for sure. Only the third goal allowed by Lake Orion this season. Tells you about the defense. Oh, picked up his foot. Bad throw in. Or are they still subbing? Oh, they're waiting for the subs to come in. Well, hey, uh, head on over to OrionOnTV.org and check out uh, all of our programming. We have Game of the Week and Video On Demand, ready to go. Um, new game every week as the season goes along. Varsity football is about to get underway here at Lake Orion. Dragons are ranked in the state, I believe, in the top 10, top 15. And coming off an undefeated season last year, going into the playoffs and being knocked out, I think by Clarkston actually. So, oh, near tragedy. Oh my word. What was that all about? Hot, that's heads up play, did not expect that. Just out of position by the goalkeeper for Royal Oak and uh, right footed in. Danger zone, can they turn on it? Dragon's trying to turn. 
Guys down in the box, collision, collision, asking for a foul, no call. The Dragon player still trying to grab his nose and get up out of the out of the box, and recover. Wild situation. Usually expect a, um, a whistle in that uh, that situation. No call. Play continues. Wide open game tonight. So a lot of yellow cards issued in the JV match where Lake Orion was uh, going up against uh, Macomb, Dakota. That was a... That was a physical match to say the least. Nice lob in. Ooh, danger. Dragons are there. Oh, a five hole score! Whoa, again. Vega Sosa. Let's see this again. Again, the attack from that left side. Nice lob in. Again, he catches it in his chest. He doesn't try to head it. And uh, it's just a position. He's there unmarked, and Vega Sosa makes him pay. Nicely done by number 20 at 30 27. Feeling like a shootout now. Don't usually say that for soccer matches, but what a turn of events. And just before that, we saw a near goal just kind of trickle by uh, Jackson Bofferding between the pipes and uh, just missed the lower 90 as number 20 checks out to a standing ovation by the Lake Orion faithful on that effort. Nicely done. Nicholas Lasso de la Vega Sosa. The senior midfielder gets the uh, go-ahead goal at 30-27. Braden Kapinski, number nine, checks in for Lake Orion. One thing, the energy level of this game between both teams has not let up. Both teams are really fighting hard out there. Dragons are feeling it, though, going that far side. Levin again, tap in, cleared out. Looks like it was cleared out. Nemo oh, bounced over the net miner out of position. Dragons just got to get a toe on it. Can't do it. Holy moly. That was that could have broken this game wide open. Good turn by number seven, Heightening. One on two, trying to battle over there. He's already been dumped earlier. And what are they going to say? Whistle, foul. Foul on R Royal Oak, I believe, is... Nope, foul on Lake Orion. He's just sit there dribbling it away. Wow. A lot of action over here. Close call indeed for Royal Oak once again. The squalling, quality scoring chances for Lake Orion are starting to mount. Still going back to that near miss and that lower 90. Just a trickle across the goal mouth. And Goalie was out of position. That's something, that's a mature play. You see a lot of younger players always trying to get that point blank shot. Um, but we see more goals from distance. Make the goalie make a play on the ball. Make them make that stop. Challenge them. There's another one. High bouncer again. Danger header out. Still alive. Deflected out front. And, and that's his second goal. Mikhail, his second of the night. My word, 28-46. Almost deja vu. It's almost identical to what happened earlier. Can't control the ball. High arc or nice delivery. Again, Dragon's head are deflected towards their end line. Still alive, cleans it up on the rebound. No chance. Joey Gayton uh, trying, he was out there as well, I believe, number 25, trying to head that one out for Lake Orion. It's just not working. Let it hit your chest and come down. We saw, oh, danger. Again, Dragons nearly come back again. Woo. End to end action here tonight at Dragon Stadium. My word. Two goals by Tivon McHale. Hope I'm saying his last name right because he deserves the accolade tonight. Filling the net up. Two goals for number 10. Dragons looking to answer. 
just when you think they broke it open, nearly two goal advantage for Lake Orion, just what a swing of events. Dragons had so many opportunities, couldn't finish. And it's kind of a breakdown on the defensive side for Royal Oak. The Ravens are just having a hard time clearing it out. The Dragons are a little more aggressive, really pushing the uh, offensive side now. It's almost a flip of the first half. The first third of the first half was all Royal Oak in a similar situation on this end too. Dragons on the move. Trying to turn it, plenty of space. Royal Oak called off the dogs. Dragons just try to settle that ball down. The two goals were uh, came from selling the ball nicely done. Nice hunt down by, oh, can't get a toe on it. Nearly an own goal, but good hustle by Andrew Heitman. Dragon faithful, happy with that, and rightfully so. Looked like an own goal by their defender, almost, but the pressure put on by number seven, Andrew Heitman. That's 10 quality scoring chances for Lake Orient. 10 on the move. Jekyll, they're gonna say out on Lake Orion on the shoulder bump. Dragon Faithful want a foul, not coming. Mark Say checks in for Royal Oak, number two. And Belina Loza checks in for Lake Orion, number 17. 17's had a nice game streak up that middle. Nice pressure by number seven again, Heightening. Being a pest out there in a good way. Royal Oak responds. What a game, back and forth affair. Dragons score first in the second half, 38-29 by Kapler and a beauty. And then uh, Mikhail at 33-06. Ties it up and then uh, Vegas Sosa the th at 30-27. Dragons go up 2-1, and then Mikhail again. The misplaced uh, headers trying to clear the ball for Lake Orion in two instances led to two goals for, Loy uh, to, for Royal Oak, excuse me. Easy call, and arms wrapped around. New Royal Oak faithful, displeased with that call, but it's the right one. See the arm wrapped around him, and one thing, uh, players, good players can draw fouls, and we saw that there with number 10 getting, uh, earning that foul. Jekyll, Dragons come in near side, trying to set it up. There he is once again after the foul, trying to step in, still with it, Speedy, trying to split that D, gets dumped to the turf. Good defensive stand by the Ravens. But, uh, Tapped out, deflected off Lake Orion. Throw incoming for Royal Oak. Wow, first half coming to the uh, middle part of this second half. What a game, 2-2. Two -two. All right, back in action after the injury. A lot of cramping going on out here by both teams, players going to the turf and Cramping up, but it's a hot night. Just got to make sure you get your eat your banana and drink your water. All right, 24-20 left in this contest. Where are we going with this one? Two solid defensive squads finally finding the back of the net two times tonight. Level at 2-2. Two, two. Royal Oak is lucky in the second half not down to be 4-2, and Lake Orion's lucky to be not down 4-2 because they're playing the first half. Well-matched teams here. Earns a corner. Nope, goal kick. Good play by the defense. Knocked that one off the number 21. Good effort there by Baylor Browning, the sophomore forward. Nice footwork, but uh, the Dragons tap it off of him across the end line for the goal kick. We're gonna say free kick for Royal Oak after the hold and the foul. 
Crowd on edge here, both varsity coaches, Coach Schmansky for Royal Oak and Coach Wise for Lake Orion looking on. Dragons undefeated in league play so far at 2-0. This is the first league matchup, I believe, for Royal Oak this season. They played in a tournament to start the season. The Dragons start off with Stony Creek on the road, and they get a win, 1-0. After Royal Oak, Dragons will be home for four straight matches against Athens, Bloomfield Hills, Groves, and Rochester. So a nice home stand here for the Dragons. One, two, th five straight home games. Favorable schedule. One TV will be here for a handful of those. 22-15 left in, Dragons chip on. Let's see what happens. They're gonna call a foul just outside the box. They call it, number 12 dumped to the turf. That is Kapler. Kapler being a pest out there as well. He has one goal tonight. He broke the score and opened at 38-29 of the second half. Free kick on the outside of the box coming from the right-hand side. Is that where they're marking it? Whoa. I thought that was further to the right, but they'll take it. Royal Oaks wall getting set up, and then you see the referee marching off where the wall can be. Royal Oaks goalkeeper, no instructions to his wall. Here they come, trying to bend it around, can't get it. And I think a corner kick coming after Bofferding ticked it out. So that's the third corner kick for Lake Orion. Who's at 17 on the kick on that attempt? Belina Loza looked like he was trying to bend it left foot to tuck it in that lower 90 on the left hand side and just miss. Corner kick coming, another screamer lower, and no doubt about it on the clearing kick there by Royal Oak. Again, high ball kicked in and out of play. All these high bouncing balls and deflections and headers in the wrong direction give you nightmares. Throwing coming here for Royal Oak. Blew the whistle, is his feet moving? What's going on? They're moving, oh, they're backing him up. There he blew the whistle, now here we go. Let's go. Kale number 10, just a pest out there. Two goals tonight for number 10. Dragons putting pressure on the ball handlers, making them make the decision. Lob over the back end, easily handled by the defense from Royal Oak, but should be a Royal Oak throw in after the deflection. Oh, near collision there, but near steal. They're gonna call a foul on Lake Orion. That one's on number eight, Austin Negri. Time continues to roll here in the second half. Tie 2-2, back and forth. Second half here at Dragon Stadium. Great soccer action tonight. Nice kick in the box. Deflected out by Lake Orion, and they're on the move coming near side. Heightening trying to track that one down. He goes to the turf again, and it looks like he got rolled up. He's going to grab his ankle. Royal Oaks calling flop. It looks like they got him good on the ankle bone. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. Look good to me. Good players earn those whistles. You call them a flopper, but it's part of the game. Runaway limping. Oh, nice little touch pass to himself by number six. Who is that? That is Van Avery. He's had a nice game. Dragon's on the move. Lena Loza sends it in. That time, they directed it out nicely. Looks like his ankle's okay now, number seven. Heightening. Cutting inside number 10, that's Jekyll. Yeah. 
One on three action, number seven, trying to take on uh, three defenders. But Andrew Heitman's been all over the place, the senior forward. He's one of those uh, tenacious dudes that'll be in your face. And oh, nice turn there by the Dragons. Step over, near tragedy, keeps his footing. He'll go down in a heap and get the free kick, but good play by Royal Oak. They're on the move. Switching the field, didn't quite get it there. Dragons headed out, the dreaded header. Coming near side. Say with the ball, plays it back to the middle. Nice chip on again, oh, near goal. Ooh, thought that was in. Just missed. Holy moly, that was a close one. Brendan Zale, number one in net for Lake Orion. Holy man, that was a heck of a delivery by the Ravens. And a, almost a brilliant finish. Just can't get it done. 17 minutes left in this contest. What is going to happen? Oh boy, that was exciting. What do we got here? Ha! Huh. A lot of subs for Lake Orion, giving the some legs a rest here. We are even on quality scoring chances at 11 for both squads tonight. Dragons, nice steal. Nice individual effort by Lake Orion there. Chip on near side. Cleared up by the Ravens. Dragons have picked up their pace on this offensive set in the second half. Coming near side, trying to get something going. Is number three, Saldana. Dragon step over, double deuce running. Near side, still on side, what are they gonna say? Yep, still on side, no whistle. 12 Kapler, or he has one goal tonight, trying to turn on it, unable to do so. <coughs> Excuse me, but uh, out of play, Dragon Ball. Trying to do something quick there is Farmer, but no one's in position, he's waving him in. Gonna come near side, try to get it in the box, and he does. Trying to head on. Kapler's lucky, or Roy looks lucky. Kapler call over the back in a way, but hey, play continues. Deflected out front of the box, dangerous spot. Dragon's trying to run that one down. And a call, it's easy. He backed into him, hit him with a hip, knocks him down. Foul called, free kick coming to Royal Oak. 15-15 to go in this contest. Near goal by Royal Oak. Just a moment ago. Great game here tonight. Classic in the making. Very competitive match, very even match teams. Ton of fun. Fans are enjoying it, that's for sure. Standing room only on the dragon side of uh, the crowd. Near side, still dancing in the box, trying to short short order, a little close quarters passing. Dragons clear it out, but danger, danger. Nice move inside by 13, man. Miller, nice job, kicking it inside. In the box, doesn't get anything on it, still floating. Browning trying to do something with it, two defenders on him. Ball gets through the middle, still alive. Oh my gosh. I know on uh, sc the screen, it compresses distances and it back in the box again, Royal Oak. Royal Oak is feeling it right now at 14.08. All the angles are being compressed on the screen. It's hard to tell depth, but my word, that looked close. A lot of open angles in the box for Royal Oak to maneuver and just couldn't get a toe on it. Dragons dodge one there and a foul called on Lake Orion. Maybe a little tired, Dragons are a little tired. Free kick coming for Royal Oak. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thanks for tuning into this Game of the Week contest. Varsity soccer action, OAA White. Divisional matchup here between Royal Oak and Lake Orion. Dragons lead the division 2-0. I should say two wins, no losses, and this is Royal Oak's first divisional matchup of the year. Odd deflection, looked like a handball, no call. Play continues. 
Looking to chip in on left. Ooh, near handball in the box. Royal Oak Faithful asking for the whistle and the PK, not gonna get it. Lake Orion dunked to the turf. No call play continues. 13 minutes to go. A lot going on out there. A lot of action. This is when you leave it up to the referees to make those decisions and not the fans. Even as an announcer, I've seen dozens and dozens of soccer matches, and you're going, oh, that's a foul. No, but it's not. Don't guess. It's not a foul until the whistle blows. Wow. Dragons out of bounds. When they're out of play on that one. Re-kick. What is going on? Let's get it set up here. Let's go. This game is too exciting for uh, trying to figure this thing out. Chip on deflected. Hands down. Good fighting by Saldana. Two Dragon defenders. Chip on. Ooh, comes back to May. Or Say, excuse me. Bump from behind. They'll call that all day long. 22 for Lake Orion. Called on that one. That's Jack for Linden. Turn it around. They had a clear. Now they got to pack in that D. 11.45. Let's see what happens here. This is the about the same position the last two goals Royal Oak uh, scored were. And chip it on. Get that ball high in the air. Try to head it. Dragons decide, I'm not touching it. Let it fall. And clear, clear it out with their feet. Still alive. Excuse me. Still alive. Got one on. Oh, what a save. Royal Oak again. Denied. Great save by Zale. Had to make that one low screamer across the turf are tough to, to make. And he did it. Dragons on that right side trying to do something with it. And they're back at it on this side. No chance to take get a breath. Berlin coming near side. Trying to chip on. Deflected kind of floating out there. Whew. Inside 11 minutes. Who's that? Got a near break here. Over to McHale. They're trying to call. Oh, another save by Lake Orion. My goodness. Dragons are asking for a, looking for a uh, offside call. Not going to get it. You got to play that ball until that whistle blows. You can't ask for it. And another cramping issue. This time for the Lake Orion player at 10-24. Corner kick coming for Royal Oak. After the injury, we're back. Corner kick coming. Oh, Royal Oak just nearly. They've had their opportunities, at least three, but good saves by uh, Zale. He had two saves there and a near miss. So, oh my. Would love to have that corner kick back because you're not going to get too many opportunities. We say three corner kicks for Royal Oak, three for Lake Orion. Some subs coming in for Lake Orion, including Farmer. He's back into the contest. Dragons and Royal Oak here in a dogfight. Trying to settle that one down. Wicca, number four for Royal Oak, gets the offensive set, and they're on the move. Kale, he might be a little short down there, but he's got two goals tonight, and they're going to call a foul on Lake Orion as a late one, but they called it. So a dangerous free kick coming here for Royal Oak, and we've seen all game long that they have the skill to drop those uh, free kicks into the box. No problem. So here we have, is it number 12? Is that fresh? Line it up. Just inside nine minutes left in this game. Tied at two. Royal Oak has had several opportunities in the last three minutes. Have really held the offensive zone. See what happens. Nice chip on high and offline. A little too much mustard on that one. Uh, That's the first kick we've seen on a free kick for Royal Oak that was offline and really kind of wild. It's 27 out there, uh, Broden and Zarek uh, putting palms down, telling the defense, calm down, let's get this thing taken care of. Gold kick coming. 
Sent down range, nice lead on. 8-10 left in this one, what can we do? Saldana, looking for the open player. Looked like a give and go, but they got this nice little cycling action going here. Nice coming near side to number 11 for Lake Orion. That is Wilson, Wilson chip on far post, no one home, still alive in the box. Dragons dancing around there, are, are, as are the Ravens. Three green jerseys to one white jersey. Dragons again coming near side. Farmer taps it near side. Here we go. 27, Jinzerik. No one challenging him. The Royal Oak player is down on the turf. He's still sitting. Royal Oak faithful asking for a whistle to get him out of there. Another cramping situation. Dragons are just standing there. Kicks it out to stop play. Out of respect for the injured player. A lot of cramping issues going on by both squads. Uh, it's uh, not going to call it a delaying tactic because Royal Oak's been doing well. They, they want to keep this action going. Dragons uh, were making a move. But again, touche. Dragons have a injury downrange on the defensive side. So does Royal Oak. He's looking, he's walking it off. And he's limping, so they make a sub at 722. Dragon kicked, Dragons kicked it out out of respect, but uh, Royal Oak should throw it back to them to let the offensive play continue for the green and white. That's usually how you handle it. Yep, just Mark Say, number two with the ball, looking for direction. You throw it up to the Lake Orion guy, and you... That's what you usually do because out of respect, Dragons were on the offense and they stopped the action. That's right, he throws it to the green and white as expected. Here we go. Dragons on the move, full, full force action here and he'll tap a roo, stolen by McHale. Nicely done. Two goals tonight for number 10, who's a star of Royal Oak's offensive attack tonight. Good passing. Good vision, good spacing. Dancing with it over there is number 12. He's had a nice game. That's fresh. Excuse me, that's 13. Let's give him some pub. That's captain Owen Miller. Dragons throw it deep. And uh, deflected out by Lake Orion. Throwing coming. Lake Orion offensive player. Hands on his head. Can't believe the call. But play continues. There's no time to complain. Royal look on the attack. Farmer doing a nice job over there on the far side. Tip tap. Toe up the sideline there is Lake Orion and Royal Oak. Dragons get it back. Dumped to the turf, no call. Play continues. Good sportsmanship there by the captain. Uh, Owen Miller drops it in. Kind of a wild sequence here. Who wants what? Nobody's sure. Dragons in a dangerous spot. Royal Oak flat-footed. Saldano gets it in, nicely done. Nine chip, oh, across the goal mouse. Nice save, ball is free. Oh, whistle, oh my word. Six minutes left to go and they're calling a PK. Dragons are gonna earn a penalty kick. Looked like he had his plant foot down and I'm trying to see the jersey number for Royal Oak. It's unfortunate, is that number 14? 14 pleading his case. Let's take a look at this. Near side, Dragons trying to, or, uh, Royal Oak trying to clear it. Kapitsky sends it across the goal mouth. Initial save, four can't clear it. Good pressure, 14. I don't know about that. They're saying he's pushed down. I think that's just good play. Uh, Jaron Taylor called on the harm in a PK penalty kick with 5.47 to go. And number 22 is gonna have the honors. That is Verlinden. Wow. 547, PK called, huge call in this game. Back and forth, evenly matched. Coming down to a penalty kick here with 547 left to go. Bofferding, how's his position? Here we go. Oh, he got a hand on it, but it's finished. Back of the neck, Dragons find the back of the neck on the penalty kick. That is crushing for Royal Oak. 
played level all this time. And uh, it comes down to that call. And we've seen so many collisions in the box and outside the box and other instances where the whistle wasn't made. But the referee saw it as such inside the box at a key juncture in this match and gave Dragons Lake Oring the penalty kick to go up 3-2. But we've seen this back and forth affair. Royal Oak comes right back. We'll see what they do. But this changes the whole metric and the uh, stress level of Royal Oak. They got to get moving here. And it's all about possessions now. How many possessions can they get and what can they do with a nice feed up that far side? Ray, Royal Oak, can they uh, get that ball on? And they do. Nice save by Zale. As expected, Royal Oak is not going away, but the Dragons can take their time on the goal kick. Try to milk this clock a little bit before they send this one downrange. Royal Oak fan base crying. Uh, we have a player down again. More cramping. Clock stops at five minutes. Royal Oak faithful getting impatient. But we've seen both teams have this issue, this cramping issue. They did stop the clock, gave the ball to referee, and let the player just get situated. And here we go. Clock is ticking. The Royal Oak faithful counting down how long the how long Bale or Zale is holding onto that ball as the Dragons are on the attack again. You can get a yellow card for stalling. And if it's in the right spot, it can be a free kick. Royal Oak uh, trying to draw fouls. You see head jerking, head flashing, trying to do something here. Danger, danger. Bofferding not doing himself any favors out there. Just got to watch yourself. He made saves when needed, but what can you do on a penalty kick? And scooped up nicely by Brendan Zale. He made the aggressive play, came out and picked that ball up. Don't let the ball come to you. You go get it. Still holding on to it at four minutes. Since the uh, buck 47 off the clock since that uh, go-ahead goal by Lake Orion. Uh, Verlinden, number 22, on that penalty kick. Key call in this matchup. All scoring done in the second half. Three goals allowed by Royal Oak in this match. They've only, I think they only allowed three goals all season, four goals all season. Dragons only allowed two goals all season until tonight. Oh, nice feed up this near side. Number nine's on the hit, Kvitsky. Cuts inside, nicely done, goes left foot, shoots it high and wide. Dragons almost close this one out. Oh, they're calling off sides. If that was a late call, that's a late call off sides. They... Clock has stopped again, 316. Another injury, another cramp. We're not showing it. Usually we don't show the injuries. But pretty sure the offsides call on Lake Orion called. Here we go. Subs being made. I, I've never seen this many cramping calls in one game. Doing games for, should I say? <laughs> 25 years been doing games. Never seen anything like this. It is warm, yes, we give them that, but my goodness. All right, here we go. Whistle blows. Back in it. Three minutes. What does Royal Oak have in them? We know they can score. Hot wheels up the side, Farmer on D. Playing interference and it goes out of play. I think a good defense. Make sure that's Farmer, 23, right? Yep, Farmer, nice job, the junior. Free kick coming off that uh, dribble across that end line. Dragons here can take their time, milk that clock. Royal Oak Faithful not pleased that they're taking their time with it. Dragons getting set up, here we go, whistle blows. Nice shot down range. Nicely done. Dragons on the move. 
They're happy to keep the ball down in this end. His 17 crashes that. That's Bolina Loza. Nice game for him. Looks like he's got his knee wrapped up and his wrist. Um, Dragons just playing keep away at this point as we approach two minutes left in this contest. What a back and forth affair. Dragons scored first in the second half on Kapler's goal at 38 29. And Mikhail at 33.06, ties it up at one. Dragons come right back at 30.27 with uh, Begaloza um, to go up 2-1. And then Mikhail again at 28.46 to tie it at two. And then Verlinden with a penalty kick at 5.47. And they're calling a foul way back here. I guess they were waiting to see who had the advantage before they called it. Play can, or the clock continues to run, and we're 90 seconds away. Closing this one out. Dragons taking their time. Royal Oaks got the wall up. Whistle blows. Dragon needs, Dragons need to kick this ball. Chip on nice and in control. Hit him right in the hands. Jackson Bofferding has it. Or look faithful going, hey man, 60 seconds. 69 seconds, 68 seconds left in this game. What are you gonna do? Dragons have it, send it down range. Out of play, play continues, one minute to go. Out of play, Dragon throw in. What a come, I don't wanna say comeback, but what a display of soccer acumen by both of these squads tonight. No foul, play continues. And the ball goes across the end line, give it to the ref, just killing time. And you see the Royal Oak player there put his hands in his hair going, come on, 30 seconds to go. This should be the last rush if they get one off. But Dragons stay unblemished here in the OA White. They tack on another one maybe with time expiring. We'll see a slide tackle nicely done out of play. And that's it, that's all she wrote. What a game for Lake Orion. Royal Oak coming in, giving them all they could handle. Both sides being equally difficult. Love to see these guys play in a, 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 a rematch. Hope you enjoyed this uh, contest today. Dragons take it, three to two over Royal Oak. Move to three and zero oh in the OAA White Division, sitting at top of the division, undefeated. 4-0 oh and one on the season. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Head on over to OrionOnTV.org for more Dragon programming. Thanks for tuning in. Good night, everybody.